Hey everybody, well, we're here, and what is that? That is more better. That's a brand new high field CL310 that we just picked up and put on the trailer. I strapped down, it's still factory wrapped. So let's get this thing back home, unwrap it, and see what's all it's all about. What are you videoing? I'm videoing you videoing me. What are you, I'm videoing you, but you're not videoing me. What are you videoing? This thing that is on our trailer. What thing? That thing right there. What is that? That's just a... See? That's just plastic. Well, what is it? We have to open it. Okay. So we'll turn right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> this piece of plastic you want to open. You want to open. Do you want to open it? Yeah, I want to open it. Because I'm, I'm ready to go get some pizza. Okay. Or do you want to open it? Well, if we go to pizza, that means we have to take it down to the boat because our pizza restaurant is down there. Okay, so <laughs> let's, what we're going to do is take this thing off, turn it upside down, and try to unwrap it. What's that? How's that sound? It sounds great. All right. Okay, ready? 
He's gonna try to put the motor on. How am I supposed to catch that on video? I'll set it on there. And one, two, three. Okay, I got my phone on. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey. No. Damn, it's center too. How did we manage that? I don't know. this thing which we don't need that piece comes right back here there's this lovely pin here that I have What does that do? So what this will do, this puts all of the load off the tilt mechanism so the motor doesn't go down the road going bam, 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 bam. Ah. So now it's on the trailer. And then we take this piece, this here, to here. Well, let's bring it up here like this. Ah, oh, and you strap it in so it doesn't move. And now it's not going to... It's not going anywhere. You're so smart! Ta-da! There's more better. Look at how beautiful she looks. And we got the... Oh. We put the gas can right in there. The strap's there. This is a pull string that goes to the back so we can pull our fuel hose underneath and you won't see any of it. I feel so smart. So that'll get done. You said a battery went in here too somewhere? Yes. I have this lovely battery box that we're probably gonna put right there. A lovely battery to put in battery box and this will go on top and there you go and this will will work we are theoretically ready to go in the water you just gotta put the lights on well, well sun's still up enough we can real quick but we won't have enough time right now so tell you what we have one more day of work and we'll take it out, come back, get it, take it out Saturday morning. Awesome. How's that sound? Sounds lovely. And then we'll break this puppy in because it has maybe about five minutes on it, if that. We have to, according to Yamaha's manual, we have to keep it at idle or under 2000 RPMs for the first hour, variable speed. The second hour we get it on plane 
above half the throttle, but vary it. Uh, you get it on plane and back it off. After the second hour, we get it on plane, we can go wide open throttle, but try to keep it up to about three quarters throttle. Um, wide open throttle, no more than five minutes for the next eight hours. Once we get 10 hours on this, I'm ready to race my buddy Mike in his 13 foot Nautica with a 60 horse Yamaha on the back. 60 horse versus 25. You guys comment below who you think is going to win. 300 pounds versus 1,000 pounds. That's a whole lot of math that I can't do. So, <laughs> you guys comment below. Tell me who's going to win this dinghy race. We're going to get this in the water. Let's go ahead and put the seat on and the covers and finish putting her all together. So, guys. We will see you in a couple days when we splash for better. Welcome to our family. Bye.